I reckon October is my favourite part of the year as a reader, especially when my favourite Australian author smashes his latest book out of the park. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel You're With Chris and today I'll be giving my spoiler free review of Mr Einstein's Secretary by Mr Matthew Riley, Australia's most popular thriller author. He wrote the hugely popular Jack West Jr historical thriller series and he finished that series last year in fact with the last book One Impossible Labyrinth. He's also written the uh, Scarecrow thriller series as well as a whole stack of standalone kick-ass action masterpieces and I I've been a fan of his since way back in 1997 when I picked up a copy of Ice Station for the first time. All right, let's start how I always like to with what the book is about taken from the cover copy. All Hannah Fisher ever wanted to do was study physics under the great Albert Einstein. But when as a teenager in 1919, her life is suddenly turned upside down and she is catapulted into a new and extraordinary life as a student, a secretary, a sister and a spy. From racist gangs in Berlin to gangsters in New York City, Nazis in the 1930s and Hitler's inner circle during World War II, Hannah will encounter some of history's greatest minds and terrible moments while desperately trying to stay alive. She is a most unique secretary and she will work for many bosses, from shrewd businessmen to vile Nazis to the greatest boss of them all, Mr. Albert Einstein. Okay, so guys, I've got nothing negative to say about this book. It was a near perfect book or pretty much perfect book in my opinion and I think every fan will agree with me because you should see the Facebook fan page of Matthew Riley's. It is going off. People uh, grabbed it and they read it in single sittings and I envy them because I think some people took off work sick um, to actually sit down and read it uh, for the day. Uh, I envy them but uh, either way I smashed through it myself uh, in short order. And look the book was so thrilling that um, you would look down at the page count and you wonder where those last hundred pages went. It just keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole way through. Now, before I go on, I'm going to apologize for my voice because it's still a bit croaky from the last video as well. So I hope you'll bear with me because it sounds, it must sound pretty ordinary at the moment. But um, I think the way the story is told is exceptional. From the first page, you're pulled in by the collar with uh, Hannah observing her own funeral and after reading the first paragraph, you just strap yourself in for uh, the thrilling tale of Hannah's exploits across four uh, different decades. Okay, now the book is formatted uh, in a very unique way because uh, she tells the story as it unfolds, but then she might be uh, walking uh, in a plaza, for example, and it might trigger a memory from a little bit later in her life. And what will happen there is Matthew would use bold text or, itali or italics to um, uh, make that specific part of the story stand out. So you know it's a flashback or a flash forward or foreshadowing. And he uses backward arrows and forward arrows so you can navigate your way through very, very well, which I think is a very unique way to do it. But it's also a very clever way to do it because it sustains your interest because um, he offers little snippets of what has happened and then goes back and the events lead up to that moment again. So it's uh, very, very well done, especially when there are so many events that um, occur over so many years. It was a very, very good way of doing that. And it made it, um, it made the book just fly along. So uh, I thought that was really, really impressive from the outset. Okay, now the turbulent relationship between Hannah and her sister was a standout for me because it was so, so tense and uh, you just think you're just thinking oh what's going to happen next and they have various encounters throughout the book in uh, different years so uh, you're revisiting that relationship and how it evolves over the book which was very very interesting now um, this dynamic between the two uh, anyone who's read the book you know what i'm talking about here it is just absolutely addictive now hannah herself 
as a character absolutely fell in love with her um, she has so many remarkable qualities she's multi-dimensional she's smart she's wily she's caring she's righteous selfless and brave some of what she does in the book is absolutely kick ass i mean the lengths she goes to to protect um, others and uh, a particular historical figure she stands up to it just blew me away because anyone else standing up to this particular figure would run for their lives and uh, hope they didn't get shot in the back so uh, when you get to that bit you'll know what i'm talking about as well it happens in the uh, in the 20s i think okay and you know i wish i could elaborate more on this sort of stuff but uh, i'd be breaching my own policy of um, non-spoilers on this channel but you just have to read it for yourself to uh, get what i'm talking about okay i like the recurring interactions between um hannah and the u.s treasury agent throughout the book i think there was really good on-page chemistry between the two and i really enjoyed reading about hannah's relationship with mr albert einstein himself across the decades because he has known her since she was a little girl uh, he lived uh, across as a neighbor from her parents apartment so uh, he used to babysit her and he nurtured her uh, natural uh, affinity for physics and uh, something that hannah really wanted to do it was her dream to study physics but unfortunately due to certain circumstances which i won't mention uh, she got uh, tilted off course from that potential life uh, with something else but um, there is a very good ending to the book that wraps everything up there but um it was absolutely great. The historical events were very well researched and very accurate as well. And Matthew is very, very good at his research. He makes sure he checks his facts and he gives a very authentic take um, on the events that happened in uh, the 1940s, especially around the war and with the concentration camps and uh, prohibition in New York, all that sort of stuff. And uh, it was just a treat to read about because you do pick up on things and learn a little bit as well. And you learn just how frightening things would have been in Berlin in 1930 or in the 30s um, as a general rule. It was just absolutely incredible. The book was, of course, a day one read for me. Um, you know, the delivery guy dropped it off and I had started a book before getting the delivery. And, you know, it's Matthew Riley, right? So you're going to drop everything to read one of his books because he is just guaranteed to deliver the goods and he's always done that i don't think um he's written a book that's disappointed me uh i think um you know i don't even need to read what the book is about before he releases it and i remember getting really excited about this one when i first heard about it because you know it's news about the book is released early in the year and october uh seems like a long way away but uh you know it's here it's arrived it's been read I loved it and the only disappointing thing was it was over too soon because that's the way Matthew Riley writes he I don't think any other author comes as close with pacing because you're just turning these pages like mad and you have to get through to the end and you have to find out how um, certain relationships turn out and uh, it was just absolutely incredible so guys if you haven't read this book I implore you to pick it up it is uh, thriller writing it's at its absolute best and uh, I just cannot fault this book it's a five star uh, for me and uh, just absolutely loved it and it's a book I will read again at some stage but um, if you haven't gone out to pick it up go and pick it up and I reckon you'll get lost in it for uh, until you're done because uh, it's guaranteed to please and all the fans love it it hasn't had a single negative comment and uh you know i stand by my recommendations so uh there you go so thank you guys very much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe offer up any feedback uh below and i'll always respond to that and engage and again apologies about this croaky voice it's doing my head in but i did want to get this video out because no one so far on booktube or youtube has spoken about it so i'm the first and you've got the scoop right here so uh there you go, guys. Thank you very much again. And until the next video, I'll see you later.